Sager's mission is to cut software development time for embedded applications by offering high quality, compact, flexible, and easy to use products, allowing developers to focus on their applications. This video shows you how to get the most out of our Sager eval software packages, which allow you to evaluate and test our smart software solutions for embedded systems. You can find Sega eval software packages on the Sega website under Evaluate Our Software. They are available for a variety of target boards from a number of different silicon vendors. For this video, we will take a closer look at the Sega eval software package for the Sega Empower board as an example. This table shows you all the Sega software components that are included in the package. After you download and unzip the eval software package, you will find a project file for Embedded Studio, Sager's cross-platform integrated development environment. If you don't have Sager Embedded Studio installed, simply download and install it from the Sager website. Embedded Studio is free to use for evaluation and for non-commercial purposes, and the download and installation only take a few minutes. Double-click the start.m project file to open the project in Embedded Studio. The Project Explorer window shows the project structure. The application folder includes a default sample application, which itself consists of either a single file or a subfolder. It also includes a subfolder called Excluded, which contains all other sample applications and is, as the name suggests, excluded from build. The default sample application may vary depending on the middleware components in the eval software package. Each available sample contains a task called main task and possibly other tasks. The main task is always created from within the main routine, which itself is located in main.c, a file that is required by all supplied sample applications. To switch to a sample application other than the default one, you may simply exclude that default application and include any other application instead. Let's exclude the Sager demo and include a sample application for the Sager file system instead. For example, the basic demonstration for the file system, fs underscore start. The fs underscore start.c file header explains what the sample application does and what the expected output is. The default storage medium is a simple RAM disk. After you connect the board to your computer via the onboard JLink debugger, you can build, download and run the sample application and observe the expected output, which in this case is a new text file being written to the RAM disk. To see the default configuration of any given sample, go to the folder for the associated Sega middleware component, click on the setup folder and drill down to the config folder. To switch to a configuration other than the default configuration, for example, to use an SD card instead of a RAM disk, you may simply exclude that default configuration and include the desired configuration instead. Insert an SD card into the MPAR board. You can now rebuild, download and run the sample application and again observe the expected output. Let's exclude the file system sample and include a more complicated one, for example IP FTP server start IPv4 IPv6. The default of this sample is to use the Ethernet port. After building, downloading and running the application, you can connect your board to your network via an Ethernet cable. Now you can connect to the FTP server on the board by using the IP address provided in the debug terminal. Browse the storage medium, create directories and transfer files via your computer. The file system is still using the SD card as we had configured in our earlier example. 
Again, you can easily change the configuration of the sample, for example, to use IP over USB instead of Ethernet. Remove the Ethernet cable and connect the board to your computer using the USB device connector. Simply rebuild, download and run, and now you can connect to the FTP server on the board and access the SD card on your board via your computer's USB port. Each sample usually allows further configurations. By default, we ran the sample without SSL. By setting use underscore SSL to 1 in IP FTP server start IPv4 IPv6.c, we now only allow secure connections. As you dive deeper into the eval software package, you can explore and test more and more of the provided sample applications that come with Sega eval software packages. It simply works! This video showed you how to access the full potential of Sega eval software packages, which are available for a variety of target boards from a number of different silicon vendors. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can find the Sega Evil software packages on the Sega website under Evaluate Our Software. Each package includes a comprehensive collection of Sega software components for the target board of your choice. Reduce the software development time for your next embedded application by using our easy to use, flexible and high quality software and tools. If you have further questions about these or any other Sega solutions, please visit our website or contact us. Thanks for watching.